G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapturalComputers.com.au Today I'm going to be running through just uh, some ga simple gameplay uh, for post-human war, W-A-R. Now, um, I'm going to shut down that music now because it's a bit annoying. We'll put it back on later. So, running through um, this game is a turn-based tactical strategy game. Quite funny, a bit weird. Uh, Storyline is quite impressively different from many games that I've played. Uh, tactic, the tactical strategy style game is not that you know different, but it's quite fun. Um, does focus on mainly multiplayer, but there's a lot of there's a fair amount of single player to be had, uh, fun to be had. Uh, now, one thing you got to do is you actually have to make a login account, which is quite annoying. I don't know why. Um, and you've got to make one, otherwise you won't go, you can't log in, and there's no other things around it. You can't skip it, so you've got to make one. I've got one just with my standard username, uh, and I'm just going to log in. What happens is if you do, when you do get the game for the first time, you run through the tutorial, which I'm going to do now, um, and you don't see this straight, you don't see this page straight away when you first log in, when you first create the, you know, your account and log in, because it basically runs you through simple storyline um, and mechanics for the game so um, what I'll do is I'll go through and set up the if it lets me in the options for sound uh, the master volume will set it up not too compli not too loud uh, so you can hear my voice as well uh, I'll get the music up okay here with sound effects up to a standard point voice control and everything's pretty cool uh, gameplay, there's a whole lot of different settings here. You can show the grid because it's like a tactical grid based game as well. Uh, I'm not going to change too much of the settings here. There's shortcuts as well, which you can use for keyboard because it's quickly you can use that when you're playing, you know, against multiplayer people online, uh, which is easy to do. So, hopefully, fingers crossed the sound works and it's not on mute as you can see. Hopefully, here we are. Alright, so what we'll do is I'll run you through the basic basics of the game. This is what it wants, to shit, wants you to learn, and that's pretty much what probably many people want to know, uh, what the game's like. So we run into campaign. As you can see, there's three different factions in the game, and you'll get to see them when we play the tutorial. And um, with the three different factions, there's 36 playable units in total. Now, each, each um, faction has um, six different campaigns. That's pretty much what I said. There's a lot of um, a lot of emphasis on playing online. So basically, what a recommendation would be to play single player first, get an understanding of how to play the game, and then get smashed against other people online because that's what normally happens. You think you you know you get you you play really well against uh, against the AI, and uh, then get smashed against human players, which is normally the case. But uh, from what I've seen, is uh, the, the play uh, the, the AI even in single player mode is quite compl quite tough. So I'm going to go run you through um, tutorial now. So I'm going to shut up. You can listen to the story for the first tutorial and see what it's, see what's going on. Hello there. Welcome to the great game that is post-human war. Before getting to the point, which is knocking down enemies, let me introduce you to our current geopolitical situation. The year is 3053, and humans went extinct 71 years ago. When you put it like that, it does sound a bit sad. But trust me, there's still plenty of fun to be had. You see, when they were around, humans had taken refuge in enormous, fully automated cities. Nowadays, there are still a lot of robots working there, washing, polishing, brushing, and cooking for, well, for nobody. But in recent years, mysterious creatures have regularly raided some cities in order to destroy everything and just vandalize the public space. For the robots, the integrity of human heritage is no joke. In response, the household machines have organized and learned to defend themselves. Thus were born the R-Patch the robots of protection for the art and territories and cities of humanity. Incidentally, I'm getting reports of trespassing in New Rotterdam. They need a strategist to guide the defenders. Your move now. Okay, so that is the intro, which was quite, make, it makes a lot of sense. The humans have, the humans have disappeared, there's no more humans. And uh, now you you do control different three different um, factions. We're starting off with the R-Patch, which are the robots. 
So this is the simple gameplay at the beginning. So as you can see, you can choose a unit. See? And then what happens is you can move them to wherever you want. In this situation, I want Piece to move here. Piece of a cake! Characters are quite interesting and quirky. So click around to drag, so you can drag and drag, drag, drag. Okay, it's telling you what to do. And we're basically going to move through to this section here. So we've got the next one. What will it be for Monsieur? And uh, we can... We, basically it's mentioning within the blue area, I can attack. But if I move out towards that area, I lose my attack and move. Which makes sense. So, cancel that one. At the moment, there's nothing for me to attack, so I can move further without having to attack in that area. So, let's move up to yeah, that one. Yeah. End your turn. At the end of each turn, as with turn based strategies, you've got to end your turn most of the time. And now it's the hooligan's turn to play. And there he is, like a bear with a penguin in his hand. As I said, this is quite weird gameplay style. Can I interest you with our ready? Okay. Monsieur, relax. I am no machine. Characters are quite funny in what they say. So we've got to go through certain obstacles to actually get through uh, and uh, get to the other side, if you want to call it, attack the other team. So you can find... Here we got, basically, you got the, uh, uh, the units of range, range of attack. So you can see mouse over here, it says range mm, uh, re range maximum attack distance of a unit calculated in tiles there you go basically what it just said there you can hover over the different values there yeah. so you can move here like for example speed defense strength and health all right so what's well, we'll 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 we've had our turn move over all right our, our turn now. I can go yeah, here yeah. and I can, I can still attack at the same time as you saw. Alright. So basically we have to destroy the opponent or their little totem to to complete the mission. Can I interest you? Yum. That sounds like Mario. He's a cook if you want to think about it, if you look at him closely. Uh, it's his name. And this guy's a dishwasher. Alright, so that's our end of the turn. There's some really funny characters in this. Alright, he's destroying things for no reason. Alright, so there are specific items that... There are specific things that you can hide behind so you don't get hit. And they can't be damaged. And they can't be shot through. But... If I move here... I should be able to shoot him at the same time. I call curveball no. in your face. My bad. Can't hit him from there because this guy doesn't do distance shot. I think he's a sure thing. All right, so that's the end of our turn. He's going to attack us now, unfortunately. But what can you do? All right, so it's now south turn. Get him close and attack. Thinly slice it twice. Uh... Bang. So we took about about twenty hit points off him. Oui. This guy, right up. this guy can attack because he's got a distance shot. Yes, and just took another 25 off him. That's the end of our turn. He's doing the he's doing the bolt and running away. So now he's going to waste more time because we, he's just running away. So now what I'm going to do is bring him bring it in closer. I can't do much though. I'll put him here. Demo start the seven. Now. Once I'm in invasion mode, basically what happens is my attack power gets increased as well. This is explained later on in the, in the next tutorial. I think in the next tutorial, the tu tutorial after that. Monsieur. Okay, I can't attack anyway, so I'm going to have to get in close. Coming right up. So this guy's going to get another at attack for free, and he just took another hit off me. All right, turn seven. This guy's getting And we just did it. That the was the end of that. All right, so we Hooligan's champion is dead. We'll explain that in a minute too. We won. All right, we move on. How do you like the taste of victory? But don't get too carried away. The invading army was only one guy. By the way, what on earth was this creature? 
Well, let me tell you about the Strons. Before going extinct, humanity wreaked havoc down here. They left huge mountain-sized landfills literally oozing chemical waste. In this unhealthy environment, the Strons were born. It was a new intelligent species, evolving rapidly thanks to radioactivity and the questionable shortcuts allowed by science fiction. The Strons have a small, feeble body, but they have the ability to control other animals as parasites. They can take over and mutate their host's body. Strons coexisted with the last humans. But since they were controlling rats and living in toxic waste dumps, they weren't that welcome. So they remained hidden, deep inside the landfills. When mankind met its end, they were finally able to leave and experience the wide world. Once they were out, they had a major disagreement and split in two factions, the Rax and the Anthropists. Rax are still angry about what humans inflicted upon them for decades, and now they can control bigger animals. They want revenge. Their goal is to destroy all cities and give the whole planet its wilderness state back. Rax are fast, fierce, and very angry, and you will soon realize that, for they happen to need your skills to lead a cleansing mission. Come on, mountains of junk are waiting for you! So, as you can see, the Rax want to go on a mission to clean out the world so therefore they can take over the nice or clean up basically everything that the humans have done so they can have their own world back but as you know that the strons are basically the ones that control them anyway all right so let's move on that was a bit more of the information on the storyline so basically uh this is where we compose our army on this side here you've got different characters as you can see not all of them are available at the moment because they all they do unlock down the track but we've got different ones to choose from we can choose as many as you want because we've got an army composition of uh 500 that's the number of resource points you have available so i can choose as many as i want within the 500 point limit to take on the army on the other side so for example i could take him drag him over here oh, okay click okay first all right so they want me to take this one as per you as, as what they want so hit me up here. all right so that's the champion slot, that's what I was basically explaining before. You need a champion every character, every level, every mission you have as a champion. You choose a character, choose a champion and you keep him hidden. We'll talk about this further down. If he's destroyed, we lose the game. Okay, so your opponent will not know who your champion is and you will not know who theirs is. So now, I'm going to make this guy the champion because they want me to do it. So let's put him over here. Yeah. If he becomes a champion, as you can see, he's got that little thing on top of his head. So now I can continue to select more people. I can have another one, which is exactly the, the same as him, but he's not a champion. He's just a normal player. And then we've got this bloke here, which is, uh, oh, what is he? It's a Koala Tapult. His ranged attack. You got some eucalyptus? <laughs> Funny. And we've got, some, we've got a polar bear too. Peter's okay. And what have we got? We've got 190 more points to use. Uh, we can have a flying guy. Yes. What is he? Squirrel tail, squirrel. Flo uh, ra is he's also flying. He can fly over different obstacles. We'll be explaining that soon. All right. So we've got two of these guys. Let's make it even. Yeah. And we'll take another one of these guys. It's gonna swing, honey. Right. We're good to go. All right. So now we can start. So if you know, we don't have to use them all if you don't want to, but we can. Each one has their own. <laughs> the bear's called bipolar. Funny name. Ready? So each one has their own skills. Position. Are we there yet? These guys remind me of the funny character, funny sounds and quirky things that original Warcraft used to say. So, I need to punch something. So this guy's a uh, arm. It's ready. He's funny. All right. So let's start. All right. All right. As you can see, the opponent's map is on the champion side. Is hiding amongst them. We don't know who they are. They could be somebody. We don't know who. It could be that guy, that guy, that guy. We don't know. So they're basically telling us, kill it, kill the enemy will grant you immediate victory. All right. So how about we start? Let me glide you. So this guy here is telling you that he's got special ability. He can fly over specific locations where other people cannot. So as you can see here, he can fly over this chasm. And even over here, he can fly over that, but ground units also get affected here, and also over here they get affected as well. So if you move over here, you can mouse over it. Basically it says hot corrosive pool. So what happens here, anything that, uh, if they stand here by the end of their turn, they lose 30 points of health. 
wants to destroy our opponent. So let's take him over this way. He glides everywhere. Okay, so if I want to, if I've made a mistake, I can actually go back. Blah blah blah. All right. So with this, you Hit can actually, me up. you can have. I need to punch something. Did the bell ring? Bipolars! To the next base. It's gonna swing, honey. Yes, Sorry. my dear. I can Every move. I can move character. I can move characters quick quickly if I want. You'd have to wait for each one, uh, and then click next on my turn. Alrighty, so these guys are gonna start destroying the barrels to get through. But the funny thing about it is, they're sitting on there. So they're basically, in about two turns, they're gonna die. So if I want, I can just sit there and do nothing. So here, right click on a unit to see their stats. Okay, so basically, if I right click on them, you can see how far this guy can move within a range attack. And then this is, of course, as distance he can ra uh, move with that, but then after that, he cannot attack. So out of here, he cannot attack. Alright, so we can keep it going. The greatest! Vic strides! That was Did my champion. Time to break some Holy jaws. Fish. Let's slip. It's gonna swing, honey. These guys are gonna, these guys have been slowed down because they cannot move any further out. Ready? To the next base. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yep. Oh dear. Sure, All right. mate. Alright, as you can see here, this is a murder hole obstacle. The guy behind it is an archer, so therefore what he can do is he can hide himself behind that wall and he cannot be attacked, but he can attack you, you'll see. Right, that's basically what it's just said. Alright, so it's my turn. I can't do anything else, so I can end my turn. These baboons are going to die. They're going to have a go. Unfortunately, they're going to die. That that guy can hit me through the wall, so basically I could be dead in a, in a few t in a few turns as well too with that. So I've got to hurry up. Yes, yeah, so I can move in and out to get a view, get a closer view of these guys, as you can see. All right, let's back out. It's my turn now. The greatest left, right, hit me all. You got some eucalyptus. Okay, so I can attack. Oh dear. Yeah. -ha! I can attack these guys even over the thing because they're ranged attackers. It's gonna swing, honey. And I can attack that too. I believe you can touch the sky. Holy shit. Let's slip. All right. And then I can fly over to here. And this guy cannot get hit by. Uh, I cannot get. Well, he can't get hurt by that. But this guy can attack him if he wanted to. And that's the end of my turn. These baboons will now be. Will be dead. And that guy just took me out. So I gotta be careful here. You don't want him to die, but he can die if he has to die. You can be used as a yes. uh, hanging on. There you go. So I, I can go. I can go attack the totem pole, which will be explaining it's a little a bit later ring? what it means. Uh, I'm gonna bring this guy closer. He's not gonna be able to have an attack, but that is my hero. So I gotta be very the careful greatest. not to die. Vic strides. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this and see if I can hit him, but I can't because he's through the wall. So no good. It's gonna swing, honey. Let's get this guy out of the way. Yes, my dear. Let's bring this guy up Let's there. Let's go for a ride. It's gonna swing, honey. Alrighty, so we're gonna... We've made our way over to the other side. Now, the base... There's only this guy and that guy left, and also the totem poles. That's the end of our turn. They're gonna attack me. They'll choose who they want to attack. That guy's taking on the koala. That guy's killing the koala as well. That's the end of his turn. All right, so this I is my champion. To left, right. I'm gonna attack him. Did the bell ring? I'm gonna attack him too. Eh? Go go koala catapult. Go go koala catapult. Yeah. So if I move maybe him over to this area right there, he can have an attack as well still. So if I attack this guy, I believe I'm gonna take a chance, and that guy could be the champion. Koala attack. Done. We did it. So we beat the guys, we beat the, the Rebels champion, and we've instantly won the game. Alright, let's hear the next story. Now what was that bunch of crazy monkeys you just faced? As you may have guessed, it was but the other Strant faction, the Anthropists. Remember, Strant split in two clubs. Anthropists are the ones who decided they have better things to do than taking revenge. Enough with the adolescent crisis. Anthropists have decided to build their own civilization, picking up where humans left off. Why bother reinventing everything? 
The hosts they parasitize are mainly primates, and they recycle everything from humanity. Their culture, their cities, their clothes, and even their energy drinks. That's why they are now in open conflict with their Rack cousins, who regard playing humans as high treason. Racks are not cool with high treason. And of course, the R-Patch hunt down all parasites without distinction. In their view, whether your intention is to destroy the human cities or occupy them doesn't really matter. It is still forbidden. For prevention, robots venture far outside the cities to hit Rax and Anthropists where they are. Your last lesson, you guessed it, is to lead an Anthropist unit cornered in the woods by an R-Patch army. I wish you good luck. Everyone is counting on you. Alrighty. So now we're taking on... Uh, the robots, which are the R patches, with the Anthropists, which are the monkeys, aka similar to Planet of the Apes style. So now what we've got is the um, the Anthropists uh, team right here. Let's continue on. We'll be using this catapult thing. We've got to also make a champion, of course. All right, so let's move on. Let's get this guy out. Let's bring him out over here. Banana! The massive tank, a uh, massive catapult, which comes in handy for destroying major things. All right, so we've got about 350 points. Let's bring out this bloke. Ha! It's, what's his name? Is Ronan Nose? Looks like he's some sort of um samurai. He's untouchable. It's interesting. Shh. Looks like some sort of sneaky little weasel. We've got a uh, orangutanga, orangutan. I wait. With his bow and arrow. Let's get a flying bloke out. No. And then, well, that's pretty much it. So let's do our, let's see what we can get out with these guys. Hopefully, we can finish the mission off quite easily. Hopefully. Now we've got to make a make a champion. Let's make the samurai the champion. Now, they don't know who the champion is, but let's make him that. And let's start the game. All right, here we go. It's our turn. A light gun for a light hunt. Okay, so this this thing here can destroy a whole lot of different things, even with your team in the middle of it. So let me just click OK. It basically says example can attack area of effect. So it can damage anything within a given area. So we can destroy this thing here because we're basically going to make our way over to there. So let's move him first. All right. So let's move Quinn on, Quinn on! Now I can't attack now because I've gone too far away, but let's that's as far as that can move. And let's move the rest of the guys out towards Piss off. Here's the flying monkey. Summer. Samurai. On the nose. It's bouncing samurai. These are weird, really weird. Shh. Alright. So I listen. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so that's our end of our turn. We pretty much can't do nothing else now. All right. So this guy's taking taking location. These guys here are trying to get through to the forest to help their friends. But will they make it in time? Uh, we don't know. Yes. Right. Let's see what we can do here. Let's Hurry move up. this over there. Alright, that's the end Ugly of that. Ugly and time. ready. Go oh. ninja go. Go ninja go. Jeez. Alright, so he's having attack. Summer. Bouncing there. Demon slash. Demon slash. I weigh nothing ventured. Nothing leave us. Alright. You can see the funny things they're saying are really Got cool. The smoke. So I'm going to make my way over to here. This guy's going to die soon. Uh, because he's going to get attacked. But let's see what we can... We'll pick up this uh, special box, which is uh, a resource supply box. This is explained in a minute. They're going to kill this bloke pretty quickly. But we're going to get that resource box before he dies. Okay. Turn three. Alright, so let's you get this guy over to here. Me? We'll pick up the resource box. The resource box helps out with a few things. Um, as you can see here, we're opening up the resource box. Um, it Up there is the, the points that we got, which is the resource points. And each character has a can, can be increased in specific things. Like, you can energize, energize for his next move, give him an extra 10% attack, or cure themselves, or heal themselves, if you want to call it. So, smoke. 
he can't move anymore. He's had his turn. So let's get move. Let's move on to this boy over here. We don't want to hurt any of our team. So fingers crossed. Ah, oh, there you go. That's explained again. On the battlefield, you can sometimes find chests. Move over. The chest to collect it. All right. So I finished my turn. Let's move this over here. Now I can get this guy instantly what? over to here and have a, a and attack this attack this monster attack this robot. Nobody's Let's move him away. Summer. Samurai can hide, or well, not hide really. Let's move him right on top of this box. Which is my main character, so I don't want this guy dead. Okay, so here it is here. I've just picked up more resources. So by using the resources, you can activate resource powers. Clicking on it, as you can see, some of the resources reinforce the unit's state here. And here allows to create various obstacles depending on the chosen unit. So if you want, I can collect that and select it. I'm not sure it'll work. And these values represent, of course, that's basically what I said, the amount of points I've got left to do what I need to do. And then it increase the strength of the units to destroy the totem. So basically what we're going to do in this mission, this, they want us to destroy the totem. So I can put myself with power here. This guy, this guy's just increased himself with extra 10 points of damage. Uh, and then I'm, my mission is to destroy that totem. So we're going to go do that soon. It's out of range though. So let's get this out of the way. Swift as an arrow. I wonder if I can shoot him from here. I'll um, brush you under the rug. That thing's out of the way, so I can't do nothing. So I, wait. Of his turn. I think everyone's had a go. So let's end our turn. We're gonna get attacked a few times, but what can we do? My little monkey's getting hit. And he's dead. Yeah. Alright. Nothing you can do about the monkey. These guys are having a go. That's our turn now. Okay, so during our turn, at any time, I can reveal my champion, as it says here. In doing that, I will receive a significant boost, and it becomes... He turns into, like, some, if you want to think about it, like a, like an orc when he goes into rage, you know, blood rage. Bloodlust mode. So if I reveal it, you'll see it now, as you can see, we'll just watch carefully. Now, do I want to reveal my champion? Yes. Oh, Watch carefully. Oh. I get an extra 5, 20, 30, uh, 5 and 2. So I become stronger. Okay? But I've now been revealed. Meaning that what happens is everybody on the battlefield will know who I am and will want to gun for me. If they gun for me, then, and I get killed, I I pretty much lose the game. Or lose the mission. Ready. So there's not much I can do. I'm going to have to get in close and uh, on the nose. do some attacking. Get rid of these monsters as best I can. I know I've got to get rid of the totem pile, but if these guys can be killed Bonsai! quicker, there you go. Five, I took five, I took sixty-five, and a normal attack would have been much less. All right, so that's the end of that one. Guide this guy's me. in my way. I'm gonna kill I this have guy. No hatred for you. Let them attack each other. That'll be good. What? What? This guy, not much you can do. Let's bring him into the. Let's bring him into close range on this monster here, on this robot here. That's the end of our turn. Okay. Uh, if you really need more resources, you can recycle things. Yes, yes, I know. So I can re recycle certain units if I don't want them anymore. So, for example, I could re I could recycle that now uh, and then bring out more units. But in this situation, I probably don't need to. But as you can see, if I go here and go recycle, I can recycle this for 120 units. If I want to go, yeah. There you go. He's gone. All right. So now, if I wanted to, I can bring out more units. There you go. I've got an achievement for doing that, and I can do that by uh, selecting more units. But let's not. Let's move on. Little beetle. Let's move him over here. Summer. This guy's done. Everything's finished. Turns over. Okay, as you can see, everyone wants to attack me now. There you go. It's getting quite dangerous. But quicker to get rid of these guys as soon as possible, the better. That way, there's less damage and less focus on our, on my, uh, my hero, my champion. Guide me. Now, can I hit him from here? Yes, I, I can. I have no hatred for you. All right. So let's get this guy in. Ugly and, and him. red eye, you freak! All right, he's gone. Now I can bring him closer. 
All right, take it easy. All right, so we're in invasion mode, as I mentioned before. You get more power and, and attacks. Sama. Let's kill this guy. All right, he's done a massive damage. That's good. And let's move him behind here. I might not be able to get hit. Here he goes. All right, so that's done. This Little guy, we can bring him closer. We've got invasion. All three of them are in power mode. And let's end our turn. No matter what happens, if they're going to move and try to attack me. These guys want to get through, but it looks like they're not going to be able to make it in time. The obstacles and the barricades too deadly for them. Alright, so that's the end of their turn. Now it's our turn. Let's From attack the him. Summer. Let's go and attack this guy and get this guy out of the way. He's dead. Alright, so now. Move him over to the other side. Alrighty. And then we've got this guy. Let's attack the totem. 35 points of damage. There's 300 points of damage. You can withstand. Turn is over. These guys want to keep going through, but they're not going to be able to do it. End of their turn. Now it's our turn once again. Summer. Let's destroy this. 60 points. What? What? Silence! He wants to have a go. And this guy will finish him off, I guess. Let the arrow come to you. Done. So, seeing that the totem pole has been destroyed, the monsters, are, uh, the, the robots are still there. As it says here, the, uh, the, the units have been destroyed and the army is losing its health. So basically what happens is, if their stronghold main base uh, totem pole is destroyed, the enemies lose health every time. So... If we go and watch this, so basically it's basically telling you as well to main sh make sure that you look after your champion and your totem. Now, as a end our turn and watch these guys die slowly. So they're getting attacked pretty badly. They're trying to get through, but they're not going to make it. And it was like a shadow, like it was like a um, like a lightning bolt of bad luck coming over them. As you can see, they've still got a bit more energy left, but there's nothing they can do, so we can just sit there and patiently wait. And I turn one more time. Done. They're all dead. Okay, so we did it. So in, in there, the champion was in there. So that's the reason why we couldn't end up end up winning instantly. But then we did in the end because it's, we got rid of the totem. They slowly died off, and that's pretty much it. So that runs through the entire two, three uh, three step tutorial, which runs through pretty much the very basics of the game, and it's not that complicated to understand. But it it's um. That is what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be running through anything else because, of course, there's a lot of different options in the game. Uh, you can play online, uh, and you can also play um, missions against other friends and randoms as well. You can also have free games, which basically let you practice and learn. Uh, campaign, which I basically before said. There is the there's the practice sections as well. And there in here you can also preset different characters so you can select the ones you want to use and play with them and, and check out their settings and uh, so you can set them all up the way you want jump back out to the main hall so that is pretty much it uh, I'm not gonna run through anything else because playing a multiplayer game will probably take a long time but you can know the, the, the basics and mechanics of this post human war. I'm going to give this a thumbs up because I, I recommend this one because it is a, a lot of fun especially playing um, if you do play a lot of multiplayer with other people randoms or with friends and the story mode uh, it does have a lot of uh, missions and campaigns and there's a, like, as mentioned before there's a total of 36 playable units with three different factions and six missions uh, in single player mode per, per uh, faction. So I'm going to give this a must buy uh, it's available on the Steam store for $14.99. I'm going to jump back out to the main menu, uh, log out and take us back to the main menu. So I'm going to end, our, end it here and I'm going to say thank you for watching. Master Abbott signing out from capturalcomputers.com.au